so that's one example <laughs> of one SNP that can have profound effects on your health, um, certainly through um, mental health, through cardiovascular health, for essentially um, risk, kind of a, a risk mediator for so many different disease processes. And um, let's just talk about another kind of interesting SNP that affects our behavior. So. We all know that food choices are a profound influence on our health overall. And um, for those of us who've kind of read about how food works to, um, to you know, influence the signaling in our bodies, to let our bodies know that we're fed, we're good, we're healthy, we're strong, um, that concept of satiety is a really important idea. And that's one of the kind of uh, driving um, factors in making consistently good food choices where your food should be nutrient dense and should also provide you with adequate satiety signaling so that you know when you've actually eaten enough of this good nutritious food and you can stop eating because you've eaten enough. So that satiety signaling needs to work really well for you to have a good, healthy, self-regulated, intuitive, natural relationship with your food intake um, because that's a normal regulatory mechanism. And there's a SNP in a particular gene that influences one aspect of that satiety signaling. So the FTO gene um, is, and there's different genetic variations that are strongly correlated with body mass index. And the, one of the mechanisms, or the primary mechanism that that happens, is it mediates our satiety signaling. So in the case of the FTO gene, um, it's expressed everywhere in the body. Remember that the DNA is the same in all the cells of our body, but it's especially expressed in our brain and liver, which of course are critical um, for that me metabolic regulation. So in the hypothalamic nuclei, which is where a lot of the regulation of energy balance takes place, the am I hungry, am I full, do I need to do some physical activity, am I just not really hungry at all, all that regulation takes place largely in the hypothalamic nuclei. And um, that's partly regulated by feeding and fasting. So that's where how much you eat and how often you eat will influence expression of some of these genes in your brain. 